Hello there. Be in no doubt, there is a global plot to stop Brexit, backed by powerful and rich players, all intent on defying the will of the people of this country. The latest name to be added to the list of the rich and powerful doing their best to keep the UK in the EU is the former head of the UN, Kofi Annan. The Sun reports today that Mr Annan has been lobbying the EU on behalf of Remain campaigners saying, Bombshell emails reveal the former head of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, has been covertly lobbying the EU's chief negotiator about the pro-EU Best for Britain campaign. I'm with the former Tory leader Ian Duncan Smith on this, who told The Sun, This tells you all you need to know about the Best for Britain campaign. It is nothing to do with Britain but instead focused on people outside of Britain for the benefit of people outside of Britain. The nation made its decision on the 23rd of June 2016, but all we've heard since then is that the losers must be listened to, that somehow remaining inside the EU in some form was the right thing to do to keep the 48% happy. But all the while, the intent was for the 52% winners to be completely ignored, and for the UK to be kept firmly shackled inside cowshed number 28 with its udders permanently connected to the EU milking machine. The great and good of this planet have decided that your 17.4 million votes are worthless and that the system must be used to guide you back into your rightful place of EU servitude and they are helped by the likes of the Soros-backed Best for Britain group, which is using the money the billionaire has donated to it to push out a roadmap to avoid Brexit to our MPs and peers. Should these people be allowed to win, democracy is dead in the UK forever. Because if they get away with this, then they can get away with anything when dealing with what they see as the compliant and gullible people of the UK. Already our freedom of speech, which was threadbare at best already, now hangs by a mere thread, and democracy seems to be following closely in its footsteps. As an example, we have former barrister and now Tory MP Antoinette Sandback reportedly threatening to use the new EU GDPR data protection rules against constituents who write to her by email. She received a flurry of emails from voters as part of a Leave Means Leave campaign to write to Remain Rebel Tory MPs to tell them to vote in support of Brexit, and The Express says, People have exercised nothing less than their democratic right to contact one of their elected representatives to make their views on a subject known, and she has replied by suggesting that they could face a prosecution for harassment. I would ask our government to ponder on these two matters. Both democracy and freedom of speech in the UK are under concurrent attack. This is unacceptable and the majority of UK citizens realise this. But the threat is also internal. As the leader of UKIP, Gerard Batten, points out, in the second episode of the Channel 4 documentary Carry On Brussels, the Lib Dem MEP Catherine Bearder is filmed actively encouraging the Belgian MEP Guy Verhofstadt, who is the lead Brexit man for the European Parliament, to make the Brexit negotiations as difficult as possible. The UKIP leader has written to the Lib Dem leader, Sir Vince Cable, demanding explanations, saying... Could you tell me if this is deliberate Liberal Democrat policy over the Brexit negotiations, or was Miss Bearder working on her own initiative? If the former, isn't this a disreputable way of going about things, working deliberately against the interests of the government with a foreign politician? If the latter, what are you going to do about this freelance behaviour? I wouldn't hold your breath for a meaningful answer, Gerard. And now we also have Labour MPs defying their leader, Jeremy Corbyn, and going against their manifesto commitment by joining with the Lib Dems to call for another EU referendum. Labour MPs have joined the Lib Dems in signing an open letter coordinated by the Soros-backed group Best for Britain, calling for voters to be given another say on staying in the EU, reports both Sky and The Express. 
And where is our Jeremy in all this? Conspicuous by his absence, it seems. But the premise of these Remainers is a total lie. We would not be staying in the old EU. We would be marching into a failed currency and failing democracy. We would effectively be joining a new EU with a fledgling army, ambitions for foreign policy, Eurozone and Schengen zone expansion, as well as EU centralised taxes to pay for an ever more powerful, centralised and controlled EU superstate. There is no status quo to go back to. Things have already moved on well beyond that and recent events actually show that the Remainers were the ones that did not understand what they voted for when they ticked that Remain box on the ballot paper. And when the Brexit negotiations stall or there's a hiccup, you never need to look far to find a Remain backing MP, Lord or civil servant somewhere in the area smirking quietly to themselves, happy that they have destroyed the UK a little bit more in order to further the ambitions of the European Union. So, what do you think? Please let us all know by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.